Okay, this time, ang gagawin naman natin is in how to add and subtract rational algebraic expressions. This formula can be used if the denominators of the expressions are different. So we have here, a all over b, positive negative c all over d, is equal to the product of a and d, positive negative, the product of c and d, all over the product of b and d. So in number 1, hindi pa natin pwedeng i-apply yung formula kasi magkaparehas ang denominator. So we have here, u minus v all over 8v plus 6u minus 3v all over 8v. Since pareha sila, combining like terms, we have the quantity of u minus v plus 6u minus 3v all over 8v. And then simplifying this, ano, this expression, we need to combine like terms. So the like terms are u and 6u that will give you 7u. And then we have negative v plus negative 3v, it will give you 4v all over 8v. And then, hindi na natin pwedeng simplify pa. Ito na po yung final answer natin. We have 7u minus 4v all over 8v. Now, for number 2, since we have 3 all over x plus 7, plus 4 all over 8 minus 8, mapansin nyo, magkaiba sila ang denominator. We have x minus 7 and 8 minus 7. 8, x minus 8. Now, apply natin yung formula. We have here, the product of a and d, positive negative c, c times b, all over bd. Ang a natin ay yung 3, so we have 3. Ang d natin ay yung x minus 8. So we have 3 times x minus 8. Plus, our c here is 4. And then, our b is x plus 7. All over the product of bd, we have x plus 7 times x minus 8. And then, applying distributive property, we have 3 times x, that will give you 3x. We have 3 minus 8, that will give you negative 24. Plus, 4 times x, the product is 4x. 4 times 7, the answer is 28. And then, copy the denominator. And then, final rule, we have to simplify like terms, or combine like terms. The like terms are 3x and 4x, that will give you 7x. Then, we have negative 24 plus 28 that will give you plus 4 and then copy the denominator the final answer here is 7x plus 4 all over x plus 7 times x minus 8 okay for our third example meron tayo ngayong subtraction we have here the expression 6 all over x minus 1 minus 5x all over 4 since the denominators are different or magkaiba, ang gagawin natin, we need to apply this formula. So meaning, follow this formula, the product of AD, we have 6 as A, and then 4 as RD, so we have 6 times 4, minus 5X, that is your C, and then X minus 1, that is your B, all over the product of BD, which is the denominators 4 times X minus 1. So, we need to simplify this one. So, we have 6 times 4, which is 24. And then applying distributive property, we have negative 5 times x. That will give you negative 5x squared. And then we have negative 5x times negative 1. That is positive 5x all over 4 times the quantity of x minus 1. This is the final answer. Annyeong.